hey everybody welcome back based on the background you can kind of see where i am at so let me give you guys the full update but i have to make this quick because i gotta get home to my doggy based on the title of this video it is true i am no longer a third grade teacher i have parted ways with the district that i was at from june to december december 20th was my last day at the other district and i was offered a temporary teacher substitute teacher replacement for a fourth grade math teacher who unfortunately had to leave i believe he is coming back at the end of the semester like in april or may um, or i might just finish off the year with the kiddos but this is my second day here with the kids and I am just so happy like I felt like a teacher again on my first day back I was exhausted but I felt like a teacher these posters and everything around the room is actually from the teacher that was here so it is a little weird coming into a classroom it is kind of like a long-term substitute role um, but we just don't call them substitute teachers at this school but I am just so grateful that my previous school decided to give me another chance and they offered me the position and I just took it up and I was like yes I would love to come back and now that I'm here I just I truly understand what it feels to be at a good and amazing and a school that feels like a family you know sometimes we kind of use that word like as a scary word but it really does feel like a family like i've had so many hugs and so many well wishes and so many like smiles yesterday and then today is the same thing so oh my god and so many hugs so i am very sad that you know it just did not work out as a third grade teacher you know because i loved my classroom you guys saw my you know whole classroom set up how excited i was and you know how much i really wanted you know teaching there to work but the curriculum and you know the administration it was just it was just it was just not for me and unfortunately i just we just had to part ways um but now that i'm back here and you guys are going to see more vlogs so welcome back to the teaching vlogs i have about five minutes left so i'm going to go ahead and quickly show you what is my stuff you can kind of already see i just brought a few things in yesterday i just brought in like a like two things and i'll show you that and then today i actually brought a little bit more the kids are amazing like they're the sweetest kids it's gonna take me about a week or so to know their names because i'm horrible with names but i get to teach like how i want to teach like oh my gosh like today this is what we made these are so that they can do fractions and like my principal came and she saw and she was like looks like a great activity and oh my god like i'm so excited guys and and yes it is math so all i have taught was alar and social studies so math is going to be a little funky so give me guys some great websites some great activities you know for fourth grade math um it's a little tricky because the previous teacher was um, he was kind of like jumping all over the place in terms of the curriculum because you know sometimes we have the flexibility to do that but now I have to kind of like wait a minute <laughs> what have they not been taught and what have they been taught because again we do have star and you know all of those testing things but other than that let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm working with I'm trying to kind of blend his stuff and my stuff together because I don't want to you know overtake his stuff because obviously it's not like my theme or anything but he has some amazing materials and some amazing posters that are really really beneficial to the students and i would love to use them for the remainder of the year so let me go ahead and show you okay so this is kind of what we're working with i really like that that's really cool so as you can see there's my extra copy so that's mine we can look inside the cabinet to kind of see what we're working with so you guys know that 
<laughs> this is not it for me but obviously you know this is because i did not start the school year uh you can start seeing some of my own stuff this is what i brought in today and then the kids use the scissors and then here are my stuff from last year of course the beautiful i never use these in like the six months that i was at the other school and now i can so oh i'm so excited um, this is actually the activity that we were working on. So I gave the mul multiplication mystery free on TPT. This was like a review third grade slash fourth grade. They were working on this hexagon puzzle, more work. And then this is kind of what we have been doing. I just think it's amazing multiplication word problem. You know, ugh, it's just, oh my goodness, like it's amazing and the kids are so respectful so we've been working on that these students were absent so on this wall so everything else is from the previous teacher but i'm just gonna leave it like this because one it's january but also we just have some really important good information like fractions decimals percent money the planets i am covering them up but I think that's okay. We have the Pledge of Allegiance, Texas flag. This is the student of the week. I might change this up a little bit. We'll have to see. And then we have our data center. I've never used a data center. And I feel like it's a little, like it's blank. So I'm not sure if he started it. Uh, this one's mine. I'm going to put my sticker store here. This is the bin that I use to like carry a lot of stuff around. And then we have this little corner. All of this was like filled with papers. So I went ahead and cleared it out. That's his fan. This is the only two things that I brought yesterday on my first day back. That's his pencil sharpener, but this is mine and I'm sharpening pencils right now. But I really like this pencil sharpener because, look. It kind of tells you when to stop. So I really like that pencil sharpener. I got that off of Amazon. And then you see my little decor right there. This is from the front office, so I gotta give that back. So a lot of this stuff is his. That's my printer paper, my line paper, my cardstock paper. That's my decor, that's the curriculum. And then I cleared up this section. And then I think that's like graded work that he left. So I'm just gonna leave that up there. And then we have the desk area. It's a little messy because it's the end of the day. The kids just left. Um, I am going to bring my like six tier organizer that has like color pencils and markers and erasers. But we have this for now. We have uh, this is mine. We have um, binder clips that we used for the activity. We have the pencil. This is still going nice and strong. We have this. So again, this is for sharpened pencils. So this is new, the printer. That is from my old school. That's the only thing that I kept from like a coworker who I grew up a very fond relationship with. Everything else is, this is mine right here, but everything else is his. And we have these, I really like this, that's nice. We have the class rules consequences. And then we have a lot more posters. I'm going to use these two. I think they're really um, useful. And I already have some science vocabulary from the forms of energy that I want to put up there. And then this is the favorite one, multiplication table and place value. And then we just have a few more posters. And then other than that, so that's it. I have about 47 children, or children, but students, and this is what I'm working with. So as you can see, I'm trying to make it my own with like the, oh, that looks so pretty, with the supplies and, you know, like the things up here and, you know, just kind of clean up the area a little bit. Like you can see there are like some projects from like last semester so my principal told me i could throw those away i went to organize like these books right here that's like art right there so i need not touch that but everything else i want to organize kind of just like clean things up a bit but other than that we have the promethean board 
a couple posters i want to clean this up just a little bit just to kind of like you know spruce it up make it a little bit more organized but then other than that we are slowly but surely doing the best that we can so that's it guys again i am back with my previous school after they gave me another chance as a temporary slash substitute teacher for the rest of the school year or until the um, actual teacher comes back. I'm just so excited. Um, it's a new challenge because it's math. Again, give me some resources that you think would best help me. Again, I live in Texas, Houston, Texas, uh, for so teaks. Um, I'm just, I'm over the moon. I feel like a teacher. I can teach how I want. I can, I can do whatever I want, you know, still following the curriculum. And as long as these kids are learning, that's all that matters, right? And oh, I can't believe it. I just, again, like I'm, I'm sad that it didn't work out, but now I truly appreciate what it, what it means to be at a great school so i will see you guys in the next vlog because they are coming up i already have such amazing things that i have done with the students so by the way this one i got for free off of actually it was a instagram and then they did one of those like comment this to get the you know link for this and then they sent it to my gmail but what this is supposed to be is for fractions so comparing the least common denominator so let's say you have a common denominator of what is this two and then you have one for like eight and then this is supposed to help them find the common denominator well they can take it out but it's supposed to help them find that the answer is eight for a timetable of two and a timetable of eight so you know we just we're just gonna work with them but they colored it they made it their own and each person um cut it and then i used this to make a hole punch and then i gave them a binder ring and then told them to put their name and it just it just feels so good and yes i'm exhausted because it's my second day here yesterday i i took a big long nap but it just it just feels right so I'm um, okay. Okay. Bye guys. Bye.